Hello, today I'd like to read The Parrot and the Merchant by Marjan Verfeyer. I hope you enjoy it. Long ago in Persia, there lived a merchant called Marjahan. Marjahan travelled far and wide, buying and selling beautiful things. The beautiful things that Marjahan collected for herself on her journeys were beautiful birds. She kept them in cages or chains so that they couldn't fly away and leave her. Mahajan's favourite bird of all was a beautiful bright parrot that she had brought back from India. She loved that parrot best of all her birds because the parrot had learned to talk. Mahajan was about to go and trade in India again. She asked her servants, what would you like me to bring you back as a gift? Each of them told her what they wanted. Then Mahajan went to see her parrot. She said, tell me what I can bring you to make you happy. The parrot put its head on one side. Hmm. Then it said, please say hello to my parrot friends in India. Tell them that I miss them and that makes me sad. Ask them if they have any advice for me. I will promise Mahajan. Marjahan bid goodbye to her servants and her birds and she and her workers set off with a caravan of camels loaded with goods to be traded. In India, Marjahan sold all that she had brought from Persia. She bought Indian goods to sell when she got home. She bought the gifts for her servants. Marjahan was packed and ready to head back home when she remembered the promise that she had made to her parrot. So Marjahan went into the Indian jungle where the parrots live wild and free. Dear parrots, said Marjahan, I have a message for you from my parrot at home. She says to tell you that she misses you very much. And please, have you any advice that could make her happy? These wild parrots didn't say anything in a language that a person could understand. But suddenly one of them went very still, then dropped from the tree. Oh, how terrible! That parrot has just died, thought Marjahan, and she hurried from the jungle. In the days it took to travel home, Marjahan decided not to tell her parrot about the parrot who had died in the jungle. It would make her even more sad, she thought. When she got home, Marjahan gave the present she had promised to her servants. But she said nothing to her parrot until he asked, Mistress, what did my parrot friends tell you? Marjahan answered, I'm afraid they said nothing at all, but one poor parrot fell out of the tree dead. Marjahan's parrot said nothing, but after a moment, it too suddenly went still and it dropped to the floor of its cage. Oh no, thought Marjahan, I've made a parrot die of sadness. She opened the door of the parrot's cage and she gently took the still parrot in her hands and she wept. But then the parrot moved. It twisted onto its feet, shook the dust off its wings and flew up into the air. Oh, said Marjahan, you're alive. The parrot sat on the branch of a tree. I am more alive than I have been since you caged me, mistress. Thank you. Thank you for the gift of freedom that you've brought me from India. But I only brought you a sad story, said Marjahan. It was a story sent by my friends to teach me how to escape, said the parrot. They showed me what I must do to become happy. Goodbye, mistress. And the parrot flew away towards India. Marjahan was surprised to find that she was happy to lose her parrot to freedom. That is because I truly do love that parrot, she thought.